job role is the People Development Coordinator. So uh, it is around about learning and development for the staff and supporting the staff uh, with uh, their training needs and their learning and development needs. The organisation Dalhousie is about people. So we're people in the organisation caring for people and it's my role in, to support them in doing that uh, and give them the tools to do that, whether that's through informal learning or face-to-face uh, -face training or vocational qualifications that they uh, need to do in providing that for them. The favourite part is how rewarding it is because you're given staff who have worked for the company for a long time the opportunity to do a vocational qualification or opportunity just to do a bit of further training in something and I also do a welcome day for the staff uh, when you're coming uh, when they're new to the company and it's very rewarding when you see staff who have never worked in care or staff that have worked in care for many years saying after the welcome day that I felt supported there, I learned a lot there and I feel like they really benefited me uh, and it's fascinating for me to meet people who are going into care because I get to find out how they did that, what's motivating them, what's, uh, what's got them into care, why are they, why are they going in that role, because everybody's got different routes into a career that they've gone, and you meet some fabulous people, real compassionate people with big hearts. care home and the dementia ambassador but I'm also an activities coordinator. We try as much as possible to keep everything normal normal as possible so if somebody wants to go to the shop we'll take them round to the shop. If they want to go for their shopping in Asda we'll take them. Um, there's not an issue about that. If they want to be involved in the local community and be going to different events outside the community we'll organise that, we'll arrange that. That's not an issue and a lot of people think once people in our care home that's it, they're there to sadly pass away but it's not the case because we try every day to make their life as normal and have the best quality of life that they can for their situation. My favourite activity we've done was a woodland activity programme where we took residents into a local woodland area with the Forestry Commission and we've done loads of different things like setting fires and um, making different things with the wood. So we'd make wee pictures and different things every week but even if we didn't do all these different activities it was just being out there to be involved in the community outside. Being active then can cause their mobility is a lot better, their general mood's a lot better and they're just in general a lot happier. Especially getting outside and feeding our rabbits and things like that, the residents love that and that's what we're there to do. Seeing them smile and if they say thank you, that's just makes your day. Because you don't get it often because of the types of residents that we look after but seeing them smile and seeing them happy is definitely the most fulfilling role that I ha that we all have because it's not it might not be me that makes them smile but it might be the domestic that's cleaning the floor or someone else and it's nice to see that it's nice to see that from what I've heard about some of the care homes we have yeah they sound fun places <laughs> at times so I know that we do do a lot of activities with the residents I was involved last Christmas. I was dressed up as Santa's elf to go and help deliver presents to the care home. <laughs> so, yeah. I've got a gentleman whose wife's in one of the homes at Dundee and he phones up once a month to pay his, his wife's bill and I always have a little chat with him. And he's just sounds a lovely man, appreciative of what you're doing for his wife. It's very, very hard to make that decision initially. I know it would have been hard for us as a family to have either mum or dad go into a care home, but I think once they're in and they see them settled, they're very happy. Jim's, Jim seems very, very happy that his wife's settled, mm -hmm. to me. You know, it seems as though he's, he goes and visits her, he knows she's being looked after, and he seems quite happy with what's the, the way she's being looked after and, and her life now. It's 
the ultimate way of being kind. It's about maintaining that person's dignity and decorum and integrity. I know they're all big words and they sound fancy, but it's about making sure that the essence of that person can continue regardless of their uh, health, their age or anything else. Uh, it's about ensuring that they feel that the home that they're living in when they come to our care home is just as much uh, like their own home as much as we can and that their life can continue. For some people it could even um, you know, become a little bit better because sometimes people may have uh, declined a little bit and hopefully they can then continue to have a good life. For me, I really am a bit of a stalwart when it comes to uh, maintaining dignity for people. I really like all the things that are in place legally to protect people, to make sure that people have choice, to make sure that it's not a place for people to die. It's a place for people to live right up to their last breath. You know, even within our palliative care, it's still about making sure that everyone is treated as an individual. People can smile still, or if they want to be quiet or grumpy, they can just be themselves. But you know, that they can do new things as well. It's just about um, just being able to, able to enable them to continue to live strongly. You go in some of the homes and you see them, they're absolutely having a ball, eh? Lots of entertainment and an art, like that. having good fun, joining themselves sometimes, actually, some activities. Of really interesting residents. There's lots of brilliant residents with amazing histories, amazing what they've done in their life, travelling, and they can tell me all that because people with dementia, it doesn't affect their, their memory in the past, it's more present. So talking about what they've been up to in their life, travelling abroad, seeing the world, and it makes them feel good and it makes me feel good because I learn lots of different things. You forget about that sometimes, you know? That, there are people that have done this massive amount in their lives. Sometimes you just see them as someone in the care home. Until you start speaking to them, you find out they're actually a real person, yeah. They've all achieved really good things in their life for their age. Some of them are a good age and you think, wow, that's amazing. It's amazing. Engineers, mathematicians, scientists, people who have been to university when they're really young, back in the in the day, back in the you know 40s, 50s. There are people who just it's just humanity. Everybody is special. Everyone. Wow.